Well, Bregman doesn't have to travel far, only four hours down I-10 from Baton Rouge to Houston, where the Astros already have a loaded farm system. But after back-to-back -back SWAC championship game appearances, the pressure continues to build to make another. The Tigers were led by sophomore phenom Leonard Fournette, who rushed for 228 yards on the ground, averaging 12 yards per carry, and said that this game may be its most dominant ever. Fellas, he wants to be cutting down the nets in March. Every single game from here on out matters in the Tigers' march to the tournament. Switching gears to baseball, big day for former Catholic high bear and LSU Tiger Aaron Nola getting the call up to move up to the big leagues. A season that started with so much promise in Houston ends in so much disappointment here tonight in Nashville. More on that big hit with Sportsline Summer Camp in a minute. But first, highlights of the first full contact scrimmage for the Southern Jaguars this morning, just three weeks before they teed up for real at Louisiana Tech. As the fever pitch of college football in Louisiana reaches its magnitude, one LSU club is looking to bring the attention back to the ice. You know, they're used to football, used to the hits, um, excitement, uh, football, and you know, it really translates over to hockey as well. After the program's departure in 2008, the LSU Ice Hockey Club made a resurgence last season and now looks to take a step forward and make a name for itself on campus. I think hockey's probably the most fun game to watch live more over than anything else. Tigers head coach Jonathan Kerr, a former player from the team's earlier days, acknowledges the challenge to make hockey thrive in Southern culture, but says his program is up to the task. I know that Alabama and Georgia and even Arkansas have actually had a whole lot of success and even Georgia now has an on-campus rink. What we're going to try to do is mimic a lot of the ways they were able to grow their programs. Got kids coming, up, coming to LSU nowadays from Massachusetts, Chicago, Minnesota, all over. When they come down here and they see that we have a team, you know, that's, that's an added attraction to coming to LSU. With no usable rink in Baton Rouge until mid-October, the team is forced to travel all the way to Lafayette for practices. I don't want to have to break up the lines where they are right now. Even with the challenges and sacrifices, the LSU hockey team's main focus is playing the sport they love at LSU. Instead of studying for my French test tomorrow, you know, I'm in Lafayette at 11 o'clock at night uh, practicing. But, you know, I love hockey and I'd rather be playing hockey than studying French, so. <laughs> Covering the Ice Tigers, Johnny Lombardi, Tiger TV Sports. Reagan Corville will be next up to sophomore. Could be a highlight for LSU, no question about it. Quite talented in so many ways. She grew up in Baton Rouge. I think she bleeds purple. And what a sensational job she's doing. And gotten more confident and aggressive <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yep, that'll make you scream. Reagan's flamboyant and out there. Reagan, graceful for sure. I'm really passionate about what I do. For many fans, she's the face of LSU gymnastics. On the floor, she's fierce, passionate, and successful. But it's hard to find only one word that adequately describes what Reagan Corville means to LSU. You know, we knew that she was a, a special student athlete. We had our eyes on Reagan Corville since she was probably five years old. You know, just, just watching her develop, become an elite gymnast. As a Baton Rouge native growing up in the shadows of LSU athletic glory, Corville's upbringing, schooling, and family were her guiding forces towards the purple and gold. It was really who I was to be in Baton Rouge and to represent LSU. My parents and my extended family and everybody has just been such huge LSU supporters. Every sport, um, just no matter what, and they just bleed purple and gold. And it's something that's been inscribed to me forever, and it's something that I knew I wanted to be a part of. And family means so much to me that I just couldn't see myself venturing out um, to settle for anything. I knew I was going to get the best of everything um, just right in my hometown. Her freshman season at LSU was a developmental year. The talent started to shine through in Corville's sophomore season when the team tasted success with a berth in the Super Six. And with that came Corville's first of two NCAA vault national titles, first in 2013 and then once again in the 2014 Super Six, where LSU finished with the second best overall score. Even with all the personal accomplishments, Corville said the goal entering her senior year was on bringing the first team national title to LSU. All the personal accolades just come with um, being here and working as hard as you can towards that team goal, and that's been my goal since day one. Um, 
I wouldn't say that it, it's the only thing on my mind because if you stress about it too much, it's obviously not going to happen. We packed the PMAC and it, it just feels amazing to be able to perform and have everybody cheering for you um, in, in a full arena. It's, it's, it couldn't, doesn't even compare to what it was my freshman year. It was exciting to be a part of, but now it's just, it's electric in there. And it's like, to know that we created that is just, um, it's, it's really, it gives us a lot of pride. In her time at LSU, Corville has amassed some of the greatest numbers that LSU Gymnastics has ever seen. She's a 19-time All-American, the 2013 SEC Gymnast of the Year, four-time All-SEC Award recipient, and a two-time Vault National Champion that will go down as one of the greatest athletes to ever compete at LSU. What we've done here at LSU Gymnastics, really um, in the community, and we, we've created a buzz for ourselves and we've made everybody believers because we're doing things that LSU Gymnastics has never done and we're getting farther every season and we know that the final national championship is so close that what's not to be excited about. Johnny Lombardi, Tiger TV Sports.